So, just another quick video about a pet page of mine. Actually, it's an update to a pet page of mine, which is the out pet page. And what's the out pet page? Well, that's a pet page I created a few years ago, and I usually always have mapped on my controller, uh, so I can get to it fast. That's simple these days because you just basically select in the drop down which uh, pet pages should be available on the controller. So it's always there, and I use it to get out of tracks, of course. That's the name out. But since a lot of it is based on loops and echoes, you can still uh, use it to, to, to mix in time, uh, even though it's to get out of the track. And why have I made this update? Well, um, first of all, some of the effects has been updated. So this is all based on effects, all stacked effects, so more effect at the same time. The, the, the great thing about adding it to a pad page is you can set the settings for it at the, sa at the same time, so it always does the same. But some of these effects have been updated, like Echo Out is now always available, Loop Out is now always available. If it's not visible in your effect dropdown, then simply go get it under extensions uh, in the settings. Um, another reason is that the pad effects script has been added, so you can now uh, turn on an effect and trigger it, while at the same time setting out its settings, which makes the script much simpler. And we have a new wait action, so instead of doing a repeater, a fake repeater, we can just set it to wait, and we can set it to wait for some beats, which means it'll work the same. Um, oh, it'll The result will be the same, regardless of the tempo of the track. So that's a good thing. And also, the, the backspin can now be in beats. Uh, so before we uh, we start, uh, this, let's listen to it. And I've set up all these little pop-ups here so you can follow along what's actually happening when I click them down here. So uh, so let's start with this one first so we can just do a mix so you can see it can actually be used for mixing. So I start this. And this one. So it can still be used for mixing, right? Even though it's an out. But let's go through all of them so we can hear what they sound like. Short loop. Out. So half a beat long. Long. So a long loop out. And so that's a whole beat long. And it, both of them go for about eight Repeat, uh, repeats, so uh, this will of course be longer. So now we switch to echo instead of uh, the loop, but otherwise it's about the same. Sure. And the long one we had before. And down here we have the stacked ones. So uh, now we switch to just regular echo. These are all echo based. Uh, because the backspin and the break is doing the actual uh, out part of it. So let's listen to those. <laughs> and as you can see, backspin is like actually an effect. That's an action. You can also get it as effect, but I've used the action one. That's why it's not up here. We'll get back to it when we look at the script in a second. So let's do the long backspin echo out. And then the bricks. Short one. And again, we get about eight repetitions. So uh, let's look at the scripts then. So what have I actually done to do this? <clears throat> So there are, of course, the eight buttons here. And as I said before, it's now pad effects based. So that means it's just one script, basically. So up here it says pad effects, loop out. That's what it's triggering. And 20%, 0%, 50%, 50%. So these ones. And then at the end, stop on, slip off. Haven't looked into video. But it sets this button on, and it says this button off. And it does all of that in just one statement because of the, the new pad effect statement. So that was the first button. Next button, exactly the same, except it's a little bit changed here. So I get uh, I get one um, one beat length here uh, instead of uh, half a beat length, right? 
So uh, then that's the, the echo ones. And uh, the echo uh, out actually doesn't turn itself off again. So that's why I have, uh, have it wait for a while and then uh, pause it, pause the track and then wait a little bit longer so it doesn't have a little click uh, when I eventually turn it out, off in the last one. So that's why it's a little bit different than the loop out. And otherwise it's the same, 5%, 50, 60, 30. So that's the echo out, these four things here. So you can see I've added a little bit of reverb and I've added a little bit of color, which is actually like a little bit of a, of, of a high pass filter here. So uh, that's this one. And the next one just has a longer, uh, a longer length. So it's set to, to one beat, otherwise it's basically the same. <clears throat> then we've got to the four bottom ones here. Now we've switched to regular echo instead of echo out. And then we do the, uh, so we set that on the fly again, same thing. And then backspin for one beat. That's new that you could do that in beat. Then I wait for eight beats and then I turn off the echo again. So we're ready to whatever we want to do. Same thing with this one, except that the, uh, the echo is longer <laughs> and I wait for 10 beats before turning it on and the backspin is longer. So that's a two beat backspin, whereas this was a one beat backspin. Same with the, uh, with this one, which is the break start. So I had a break start and I remember to turn uh, restart play off. So that's this thing. It shouldn't restart play. It should definitely stop. And then I wait for eight beats and then again I turn off the echo. And the final one, same thing, except that everything's a bit longer. So the break start uh, is, is longer and the, the echo uh, is longer because of the break start is longer. So, uh, those are basically the, uh, the, the scripts for it. And of course, I'll add a link to this pad page in the video description so you can go grab it, throw it into your, your pad page folder in DJ, and start playing it with it yourself. A uh, couple of other interesting things uh, is that this makes it really easy to compare uh, loop and echo out, uh, which you might think is about, about the same, but let's try to listen to, to, to compare them. Well, So it definitely has the feel of a loop, right? And echo out. Definitely has the feel of an echo, right? Of course, uh, uh, loop out has a few more, few more things you can do with it. For instance, you can change the mode to not just be a fade, but instead, for instance, be a, a low pass filter. I could do that here. I could also do it in the script. Let's try doing it in the script. So we're actually looking into what we're actually doing. So the loop out here. And that would be the, the third button. So instead of uh, setting that to, uh, no, sorry, that would be the second button. So instead of setting that to 0%, we'll set it to 50%, like that. And then we will see if that makes a difference once I click the uh, first button here. And you could definitely hear it had now entered the low pass filter mode here by uh, sending that to 50%. So of course this is possible. You can change all these scripts if you go grab this and then uh, work from there because these are just my suggestions, right? Um, so that was, that was basically it. Of course, uh, finally, I just want to mention that uh, these are all confined by that. There's also a, uh, a docking echo that's actually probably been created for, for mostly for, for the Pioneer uh, hardware battle mixers, which has a smooth echo on it. So that's also uh, entirely possible to use for outs and sound kind of the same purpose. So let's see, this is, let's see, that, that half a beat and maybe up here. And you just want to see. So, so that, but that works in a way that it actually triggers when you do something over here, not when you turn it on. So if I play again. That's here, but otherwise it's kind of the same thing, right? So you arm it, and then you do something. It's still armed, so you grab the volume. Like that. So that's the, the docking echo, just wanted to mention that. And then finally, uh, I just want to go through these again with a slow track, so you can see that because it's not now mostly uh, based on beats, uh, it also works in different tempos. 
So this was 105 BPM, this is 65 BPM, so let's see if, if it's meaningful still. So we'll go through them, even with a little change here with the low pass filter, let's go through them again. So that's a short loop out and a long loop out. So let's do the uh, short echo and long echo. And then let's try the Find four ones down here. So those were the one with backspins and echo. Let's try the one with a uh, break and echo. So this was just a quick video to, uh, to show how I've updated my out pet page and you can go grab it like I said. And of course, change all these settings in it if you want to. But I just wanted to uh, to update it to use some of all the new stuff that Virtual DJ now has. Uh, so it makes the scripts a lot simpler. And also, mostly because of, of the beat measuring instead of millisecond measuring, makes some of the outs uh, more smooth and uh, better in use.